Hi guys, um, welcome to this session and thanks for joining us. Uh, this session is quick. I just want to introduce you to a nifty little tool here for AWS architects and uh, DevOps engineers who use Kubernetes. Um, so this tool is called K9S. It's called K9S and it's a tool that you can use to view um, you know, what's happening in your Kubernetes clusters in your Kubernetes environment in general to drill down on whatever is happening inside, to see logs, to edit files, to do whatever you do with your Kubernetes, right? So to install this tool, guys, it's simple. You simply just need to search for it online, go to Google and look for install K9S on your system. If your system is a Windows, you uh, you you look for Windows. I think you can use Choco to install it on Windows. On a Mac, you can use um, Brew to install it. So it's simply Brew. Uh, so this is for Mac OS. Use Brew, install, derail, blah, blah, blah. You can also use this to install for Windows. You can use Brew or Pacman. And uh, for, no, for Linux, sorry. And for Windows, you can use Choco or Scoop to install K9S. Once you have installed, once you've uh, executed this command, you're good to go, guys. You're basically ready to go. But uh, first of all, you need to have a cluster, right? So to create a, a Kubernetes cluster, all I did was, you know, I ran the Kubernetes create command. Oh, the kubectl uh, Kube command, not skip city eks ctl command so i think you can create a cluster with a command just like this one i think i should still have it somewhere around here um let's see i think i should have it uh yes that's that's the command right here guys so simple command and you'll be able to create a cluster and practice on it create a cluster and and create maybe just just some tools or some um you know basic basic uh images and ports and services inside so that you can play around with them so uh all i needed to do was install eks ctl so you need to have AW the aws cli installed you have to have um you know the eks ctl tool installed as well you have to have your 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 access um figured out so create an IAM user with admin uh, privileges and um, configure the CLI, you know, of course, how to configure it, AWS configure, and then you put your secret key and access key, set that up, install EKS CTL. You can use Brew to install it if you're on Mac. You can use Choco to install it if you're on Windows. Once you've done that, you can create a cluster by this command, EKS CTL create cluster. The cluster name is Primus Learning in this case. The region is this, US East one, and then the number of nodes and the type of node types that I wanted. So that's all that I did here. And uh, I'm able to have uh, the, the environment, I have Kubernetes running, I have some, so, some few things that I've installed inside. Um, and so once you've installed the tool we are talking about, which is K9S, it is a neat tool, guys. Guys, let's let's get into it and see a little bit of what's happening inside, how it's working. So to open up this tool, to use this tool, you simply need to type K9S once you've installed the tool, right? I've installed it already. So you, you can just run brew install K9S and you have it installed. So just as I showed you in the in the Google page. So once you've installed it, just run K9S. So I'm running K9S. You see, it automatically brings up this beautiful interface right here, guys. And you can see um, your cluster name. My cluster name is Primus Learning dot uh, the region dot EKSCLI dot IO. So you are running on EKS um, CLI and uh, of course, this tool is provided by EKSCLI.io, guys. Uh, it's called K9S, guys. It's very neat. It's very neat. All right. And the cluster name is Primus Learning. The user is this. And you have some details about K9S version you're using, and Kubernetes version you're using, and all that and all that. All right. So to use this tool, you need basic 
skill set on Linux. Linux, you need to know how to use Vim editors. You need to know how to use um, Nano, any editor, right, in, in the Linux space. So that's basically what this tool does. And you see, you can actually get into this tool and play around with it. You see, you can see your namespaces. I have uh, two namespaces currently. I have the default namespace and I have the cube, cube system namespace. So these are two namespaces that are running and I have some ports that are running, 12 ports that are running. You can see this right here. So if I wanted to move from ports to maybe services, I would just need to do shift uh, semicolon, shift colon or semicolon, shift colon, and then I say services. For instance, I want to go to services. I just type. So shift uh, semicolon or colon, and then I type the 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 whatever the components or whatever I want to see, right? So in this case, I want to see services and I hit enter. Voila, it takes me to services, the number of services that are running in my um, uh, cluster. So I have five services that are here running. And so I can drill down on the services. I can, you see so, some of these shortcuts, these are the things you can do. So control L, you can bench, run or stop. Control D, you can delete, a, 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 in this case, a service. Uh, D is described, so you can describe the service. So if I just type D here, it describes this service. You see, this service is running on the default namespace. It has the label guest book. That's app guest book tier front end. It has annotations known selector is app uh, guest book and then tier is front end and all all of those details. You can see the details if you just hit the escape. Escape key here, it goes back, it goes back, guys. And, and you can edit edit the service. So for instance, you are on the service. If I hit on the down key on the, um, the arrows, the arrows key, arrow keys, it brings it down and up. The up key there, it brings it up, back, and so on and so forth. So for instance, I wanted to go into the default uh, uh, namespace here and the service I want to go into is Kubernetes. I'll just hit it down and go up to the service. And then if I wanted to maybe edit this service, you see the shortcut for edit here is E. I'll just press E on my keyboard and it will bring up this service and I can edit the service as I want, right? This is basically Vim or VI or Nano or whatever. So I can basically um, edit this service by um, pressing I on my uh, thing to insert and all that. Same thing. So if I want to exit this, I can just press shift and then colon and I do quit if I just want to quit and I quit the service. Right, guys. So it is once you are here, it is basic Linux or basic um, uh, editors. If you know how to use your editors, guys. So if you are good with your editors, this tool is right. It's for you. It's a neat tool for you to see your Kubernetes environment. So if you wanted to see logs, you simply press on logs on L. So you see L, press L. You see the logs about this service. Let's see if there are some logs coming out of the service. It's waiting for logs. It just takes a little bit to get, get you the logs. Um, let's see if any logs return. So it's waiting for logs, waiting for logs, waiting for logs. Let's go back. This one is taking long. Let's see if there's another one that can, maybe the front end can give us some logs. So let's hit L here. So stream closed. E uh, end of file for default front end, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really give us anything. Uh, let's go back. So you hit escape to go back. Uh, maybe this one, if you hit L here, we could get some logs. It's taking a little while to get us logs. Okay, let's go back. But this is how you get logs here. You can, you can describe by using D, right? So if we're on uh, Kubernetes here, you could describe it by using D. It would describe it. You hit uh, the escape button, it goes back. And this is basically how it works, right? So that you can really view your thing uh, right here. And there are more commands. You can find out the commands on ekctl.io. They will give you documentation about this neat tool, guys. So um, this is how you do it. And then you want to go back. Maybe you are right now on services. You want to change to port. You simply control uh colon or semicolon and you go you type ports and that's it you, you're back on ports you want to delete a port for instance delete one of these that are uh, not working well 
you simply need to hit control uh, D, right? Control D. So if I press control Z, it asks me if I want to delete and then I take my arrow key here to go to OK and I hit enter. It's deleted, right? It's deleted and uh, you see it's you know the it's no longer here though it will, it will, it'll be coming up again in a moment because that one is deleted needed the replicas um i needed different number and so it's it's coming back all right so you see that's how you delete that's how you describe that's how you edit you can kill you can do stuff right here right you can ask for previous logs so previous logs will just be p you ask for previous logs and you can ask for, let me see previous logs on something that's probably will give us logs. Yeah, so you can see streamed logs field, previous terminated container leader in port. That already gives you a terminated container. And if you escape here and go back to something, let's do previous logs on this one and see what's happening, terminated and go back. Yeah, so these are the ports. You could go to other things, right? You could go to, uh, what else is out there that we can see? Deployments, deployments, and uh, you can see the front end deployment is not working. Oh yeah, that's why it's not working. Front end has zero. Uh, that's running. You can debug this a little bit by looking at the errors. Um, no, it's not giving us. We'll see that later. So let's check this one. Stream log field container follower is not valid for port blah blah. blah. So you see what's happening here. Mm, let's open this one up. Let's actually go inside this one. Uh, so, so to go inside, you just select it and then you hit enter. It will, it will go into. It will drill down on the next level of abstraction for that one. So this one is on. Nothing here. All right, let's go back, guys. Let's go back. And to quit this this place, right? To quit this tool, you simply hit Control Shift again, and then colon and Q. Just press Q and exit, and that's it. You've exited the tool. So to come back to the tool, you just type in your K9S, hit Enter. Make sure, you, of course, you are authenticated, and it, it will bring you right where you left. And maybe you want to go back to your namespaces. You want to go into a particular namespace. Maybe this default namespace, you see, just hit enter. And it takes you right inside the namespace and you can play around with your, your stuff and, and so on and so forth, guys. So this neat tool is what I wanted to share with you today. It's, it's a really, really good tool, guys. Uh, play around with it. and Let me know in the comment section what you think about this tool. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.